so in this example it is being asked that estimate the average drift speed of conduction electrons in a copper wire of cross sectional area 2.5 into 10 raise to the power minus 7 meter square being a numerical we start writing whatever is given cross section area is given as 2.5 into 10 raise to the power minus 7 meter square carrying a current of 2.7 ampere so i can write that this current that is flowing through the copper wire is 2.7 ampere and it is also saying that the density of conduction electrons is 9 into 10 raised to the power 28 per meter cube that means so many electrons are there in one meter cube so i write this number of electrons is conduction electrons is 9 into 10 raised to the power 28 per meter cube so everything is in si units over here so now let's uh, and we already know the charge on one electron one each electron ha has a charge of 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 coulomb now because they're asking the drift speed and they have given the current so we already know that this is the drift current and we know that the drift current is nothing but the rate of flow of charge which will be nothing but number of electrons into the charge this is the total charge that is flowing per cross section area into the velocity so this will be the flow of charge so rate of flow of charge is nothing but the current so that means how much uh, co uh, coulomb charge is uh, moving per second will be your current so if i just substitute i i i already know the value of id that is drift current i know the density and i know the charge of one conduction electron i know the area so it should be extremely simple for me to calculate this term that is the drift velocity so i can Calculate the drift velocity using the simple formula ID upon NEA. So, when I calculate this, it would be 2.7 upon 9 into 10 raised to the power 28, 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 19. 2.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 7 that is the area so when we calculate this we get the value as 7.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 meters per second so that will be the answer to our question but it is very important to note that we could have got the other values like they could have given us the drift velocity and the current and asked us the cross sectional area so we we should uh, we should know that th this is the formula that governs the drift current and uh, it's quite a logical one so that is the answer to our question